Imagine a world where punches and kicks are poetry in motion, where discipline and determination forge champions. In this realm, Joe Lewis emerged as a shining star, leaving an indelible mark on the history of martial arts. But Joe's journey was no ordinary one, it was a thrilling adventure that would defy expectations and redefine what it means to be a true fighter. Welcome to the channel, subscribe and let's dive in. Dragon Within, born with a spirit as fiery as a dragon and a heart as strong as steel, Joe Lewis stepped onto the karate mat with an unwavering determination. With every swift strike and lightning fast kick, he captivated audiences and opponents alike, dazzling them with his impeccable technique and unmatched skill. But little did they know that there was more to Joe than meets the eye. As Joe's prowess grew, so did his thirst for knowledge and his hunger to explore the uncharted territories of martial arts. He delved deep into the realms of philosophy and traditional boundaries of the ring. Joe Lewis was not content with simply being a formidable fighter. He yearned to understand the essence of martial arts and its connection to the human spirit. Guided by his insatiable curiosity, Joe embarked on a quest that took him to remote monasteries, ancient dojos, and wise old masters hidden in the shadows. He sought the secrets of inner strength, the harmony between mind and body, and the path to enlightenment through the art of karate. With each encounter, Joe Lewis absorbed the wisdom of those who came before him, blending their teachings with his own unique style. He mastered the art of discipline and control, harnessing his body's energy like a force of nature. His movements became a symphony of grace and power, a testament to his unwavering dedication and tireless practice. But Joe's journey was not without its trials. He faced formidable opponents, both inside and outside the ring. Yet, his unwavering spirit and unyielding resolve propelled him forward, transforming every obstacle into an opportunity for growth. He embraced defeat as a stepping stone to greatness, learning valuable lessons from each setback. World by storm, it's the swinging 60s, and a karate superstar is about to take the world by storm. His name, Joe Lewis, in 66. He showed everyone who's boss by snatching the grand championship at the US. Nationals. Talk about a knockout performance. But wait, it gets better. The following year, Joe took on the competition and emerged victorious once again, defeating Mitchell Bobro and Frank Hargrove to claim the championship title. Boom. This guy was on fire. Now, fast forward to 68, and things were about to get even more intense. Joe had his sights set on the first ever World Professional Karate Championships. And guess what? He didn't just win dominated the competition and became the very first world champion. You'd think that kind of achievement would come with a hefty paycheck, right? Well, not exactly. Believe it or not, Joe was paid a whopping $1 for his incredible triumph. Hey, at least he had the satisfaction of being the champ. But our hero didn't let a measly dollar dampen his spirits. No way. In August of the same year, he faced off against Victor Moore at the World's Hemisphere Karate Championships. It was a fierce battle. And unfortunately, Joe didn't come out on top that time. Hey, even champions have their off days, right? But hold on to your seats, folks. Because the story doesn't end there. In November 68, Joe had his chance at redemption. He stepped into the ring at Aaron Banks World Professional Karate Championships, ready to reclaim his title. And guess who stood in his way? Yep, none other than Victor Moore. It was a showdown for the ages, and Joe fought with everything he had. In the end, he emerged as the victor, snatching the world heavyweight title right out of Victor's grasp. And you know what? He earned himself a sweet $600 for that epic triumph. Now, that's what I call a payday, karate legend Heiko. But Joe Lewis wasn't just a one-hit wonder. Oh no, this guy owned the 70s and 80s. His karate skills were so legendary that in 83, he was crowned the greatest karate fighter of all time. Can you imagine the honor? It's like being the rockstar of the martial arts world. And here's a fun fact. Joe wasn't just about kicks and punches, 
He was a real-life hero too, serving as a veteran of the Vietnam War. Talk about courage. But Joe's talents didn't stop there. He even ventured into the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry, acting in films and TV. The guy could do it all. Even as the years rolled by, Joe Lewis never lost his passion for sharing his knowledge. He gave seminars, inspiring aspiring fighters to reach for the stars, and he continued to leave his mark in the entertainment world, showcasing his skills and charisma. Top fighters and promoters selected Joe Lewis the best karate fighter of all time in 1983. Bill Wallace and Chuck Norris died for second place. Joe was recognized by judo Gene Lebel as having brought us full contact karate. Joe Lewis' final year of tournament karate competition was 1974. At the May Heidi Okiri National Karate Tournament in New York, Lewis lost to Charles Curry. Lewis triumphed in the two-day Porak competition on May 2011 and 12. That same month, Lewis won the elimination matches over Frank Harvey, Smiley Quides, Benny Quides, and Cecil Peoples before defeating Steve Sanders on a full minus three points decision to claim the championship. Joe Lewis' career came to an end in the finals of Mike Anderson's top 10 national professional karate tournament when he was defeated by Eddie Monster Man Everett. Joe Lewis faced Teddy Limos in Hawaii in 1975 as part of a comeback fight. Lewis lost this non-title bout by decision after three rounds. Joe had a dislocated shoulder and lost a seven-round decision to Ross Scott in September of 1975. Lewis lost the PK a World Heavyweight Championship because of contractual issues. Lewis continued his acting career by appearing in Force 5 in 1981 and Jaguar Lives in 1978. Joe Lewis made a comeback in 1983 at the age of 39, giving him a top 10 PK a global ranking. Lewis won over Curtis Crandall, Melvin Cole, Charlton Young, and Bill Morrison before suffering an unexpected setback to Tom Hall on April 2016. On August 2010, Lewis lost to US heavyweight champion Kerry Roop via technical knockout co in the fourth round, and Roop subsequently won the PK US heavyweight championship. Swinging till the end, Joe Lewis, the mighty warrior of kickboxing and PK of full contact karate, had an awe-inspiring career that left a lasting impact on the world of martial arts. With a combined record of 14 wins and four losses, Joe proved time and again that he was a force to be reckoned with inside the ring. In the PK of world title battles, Joe showcased his immense skill and unwavering determination, tallying up four wins and four losses. It was a testament to his indomitable spirit, always ready to take on any challenge that came his way. Even after retiring from professional competition, Joe couldn't resist the call of the fight. In 1990, he stepped back into the ring for one last exhibition match that had fans buzzing with excitement, facing off against his good friend Bill Wallace. Joe, weighing in at 198 pounds, squared up against the lightning-fast Wallace, who tipped the scales at 166 pounds. These two titans of the sport, considered too old to obtain boxing licenses, delivered a spectacular showdown that had spectators on the edge of their seats. When the dust settled, the judges couldn't declare a clear victor, with two of them scoring the match a tie and one favoring Wallace. It was a memorable clash between two legends. However, the final chapter of Joe's incredible journey took an unforeseen turn. In 2012, Joe Lewis faced his greatest opponent yet, a battle against brain cancer. Diagnosed on July 15th, he underwent surgery on July 18th showing his warrior spirit and resilience. Even in the face of such a formidable foe, Joe fought valiantly and, remarkably, resumed his leadership of Joe Lewis fighting systems. But as time went on, Joe's condition worsened, and on August 31, 2012, at 10.45 a.m., surrounded by his loved ones, he peacefully passed away at Coatesville Veterans Administration Medical Center. The loss of Joe Lewis left an immense void in the martial arts community, a void that can never be filled.
his legacy as a champion and a true martial arts pioneer will forever endure. Rest in peace, Joe Lewis, and may your fighting spirit continue to inspire generations to come. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.